Hi, I'm Mohan Gautam, your English teacher. Thanks for clicking and welcome to the lesson on preposition under grammar portion of unit 2 class 9 English book. Right? Okay, my dear student, today uh, just we are going to do exercise okay under grammar portion. Okay. As I told you before, the topic is preposition, right? So before we begin the topic, today's topic, preposition, okay, you have to know very first what prepositions are, right? Okay, the prepositions are short words or individual words mostly, like on, in, by, between, a, around, etc. that usually stand in front of nouns and pronouns, right? They basically comes before the noun and pronoun, right? And when you talk about the preposition, when you talk about the rules of the preposition, there are not hard and fast rules, right? There are not hard and fast rules about the use of the prepositions. The best way, right? The best way to learn preposition is looking them up in a uh, English dictionary, reading English literature, and learning useful phrases by heart, right? So these are the basic method or ways to learn the preposition, English preposition, right? So English preposition is even difficult for native speakers, right? So we have to understand the context, in which context, okay, in which context the word, the preposition comes, okay? So we have to understand the context, then according to the context, we have to use the suitable preposition, right? Before noun and pronouns. Got it? So I request you all, my dear children, please read English literature, read English newspaper. You have to consult English dictionary. And, and sometime you have to learn, you have to memorize the useful or the very frequent prepositional phrases, okay, from your English grammar book to get mastery over the preposition. Got it? Okay, my dear student, after knowing this basic concept of the preposition, now we are going to the, we are going to do the sum, okay, the exercise is given below, right? So even you can see on the screen, think and act. Read this concluding line of the letter and pick out the preposition used, okay? So the in the letter that already I taught you, the last paragraph given here in this box. So this is the concluding paragraph. From there, you have to be able to pick up the preposition, right? And you are going to fill up number B. Got it? Well, now let's have a look the preposition given very first. Then later on, you have to write down the preposition in the given space below, right? Okay, you might have seen over there, okay? You might have seen, okay, the preposition here, to, on, the next part, okay, again on, and then after next, there is next, okay, uh, for what to, right? So these are the prepositions that we can see, okay, in this, okay, concluding paragraph of later, right? Okay, now let's write down the okay, preposition here in the space. To, on, forward, forward to, next, etc. Okay, no need to write the repeated uh, preposition. Okay, so these are the prepositions that we could see in a book paragraph, right? Well, my dear student, now, number B. Fill in the blanks with one of the prepositions you had picked up. Now, look at number I. I was born, da da da, Monday. We don't go to da, da school on Saturdays. It is a small map, da da, Nepal. Right? So now, 
It's a true bipu preposition. Okay. Come bipu the noun and pronouns. Monday, this is noun. School, this is what? This is noun. Nepal, this is also noun. Before then, we have to we have to use preposition. So I was born. Okay, can you please tell me what preposition we are going to use? I was born there the Monday. I was born there the Monday. Now it's your turn, please tell me. Yes, absolutely, you are correct. Thank you for a correct answer on Monday. Thank you. We don't go to the school on Saturdays. Can you please guess? Yes, of course. The answer is two. We don't go to school on Saturdays. Right? Now, triple I. It is a small map that is on a pole. Right? It is a small map to the Nepal. Can you please tell me what preposition we are going to fill it up here? Absolutely correct. Of okay, it is a small map of Nepal. Okay, thank you for okay providing me here correct answer. Okay, thank you, my dear students. Okay, now let's go further in another slide. Okay, look at here. Yes, now read out very fast. Okay, again some basic knowledge under preposition. Preposition are single words already I described or group of the words such as eight on in, in front of, out of, etc. Use before a noun or pronouns to show place, position, time and time or method, right? So these are the general, okay, let's say the uses of the preposition, okay? Now number A, study the pictures and the use of the preposition. Okay, now you have to learn here the context. Okay, without learning proper context in a sentence, okay, we cannot use the preposition correctly. So you have to be able to understand the context. In which context, okay, the sentence, okay, come and accordingly you have to use, okay, preposition. Look at here, in, to show sometimes completely inside something or in an area of boundaries, okay. You can see here boundaries, okay? Okay, within this boundary, we can see here what? A ball, okay? So we use the ball is in the box. Now the cattle are in the field, okay? Here, in the boundary, okay? The cattle are in the field. Here, in the field refers to what? They are in a certain territory, in the certain boundary. So that we have to say in the field, right? Now on to show something, okay? something on 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 a line right to show something on the surface or something or to show something on a line here the base has been put on the table butthole is on the east okay east west highway right on the east west highway right so this surface okay or any, any line right in this situation we have to use preposition right okay now let's go further well now to get a triple I, eight, to show the location of something, eight, or near a point or a point on the map, okay? So, to show the location of something, eight, or near a point or a point on the map. So, to show the small location, okay? If something or someone remains, okay, in a small location, we use eight, right? Look at here, number one, I made him at the airport. Right here, at the, the airport is a noun. At the airport, okay. This is what uh, a point or right or even uh, some small location, right? So we have to use eight. And the next one here, C is at school now, okay. C is at school now, right? So before school noun, okay. We use here at school. Generally, if somebody okay remains, okay. Uh, in school territory, we have to say at school. Look at the arrows and see how off, onto, round, and under are used. Okay, so look at this picture given here. Okay, so uh, off if something or someone just drop down. Okay, from this, uh, from this. Okay, so bait at the time. So, or from this quote at the time, uh, okay, we have to use of, okay, and in motion position, if something, okay, just goes on the, onto the, onto the, this quote, okay, or this bed, okay, we use onto, okay, 
in the motion position and remain on the surface we use onto round okay if something goes okay making it circle right okay moving uh, moving and making it circle in this in that situation we have to use round and under obviously just below this coach below this okay let's say the bait okay if something is there we have to say obviously under right so these are the uh, general uses okay of such type of off onto round and under right according to the picture given right okay my dear student now okay look just further on the basis of the okay basic information basic knowledge on preposition okay so now we are going to supply the suitable preposition here in these blanks now look at the question given here complete the following sentences choosing one of the prepositions from the box below right look at here on it in of through between into under round across towards over right so these are the prepositions that we are going to use in the following in the following spaces given below okay so number one the children are playing just the ground just the back of the house okay so out of the above preposition which one is suitable or correct in number one first position the children are playing okay can you please tell me okay please tell me of course correct answer yes on the ground yes absolutely correct the children are playing on the ground well done da -da -da. the back of the house now you have to pick up any one of the preposition can you please tell me yes absolutely you are correct yes at the back of the house well done for telling correct answer okay now look at number two da -da -da. my classroom i always sit the -da. fulmati and fulmati and rufi okay now look at here number two okay can you please guess me my classroom okay can you please tell me yes of course right answer in my classroom i always sit then can you please tell me what people we are going to supply here of course you are correct between pulmati and rafi okay thank you for telling correct answer now let's look at number three well now Look at the question very first. The prisoners escaped da, 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 the narrow opening, da, 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 the boundary wall. So can you please tell me its answer? Of course, correct answer. Through the narrow opening, okay? Through the narrow opening, then the boundary, okay? Good here, in the boundary wall. Okay, now look at number four. Is the student were getting da, 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 the room the head teacher told them to come to the him but here it's answer into the room okay into the is the students were getting into the room okay if something or someone in the motion and just going inside at the time we have to use into into the room the head teacher told them to come to come then can you please tell me its preposition of course correct answer two hours him thank you for telling correct answer now number five okay look at number five look at question very fast going da, 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 the field will take much shorter time than going da, 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 eat okay so out of above preposition what will be the correct one look at here going over the field right <clears throat> sorry going over the field will take much shorter time than going going around it right okay now look at next one but you may fall right but you may fall because the ground is the rather slippery but you may fall you may fall off right you may fall off because the ground is rather slippery that is the middle of the field then correct answer is what what is the correct preposition can you please tell me of course correct answer in the middle of the field thank you for telling me correct answer right okay my dear students now let's move to further okay now here is a story okay 
it is a story of a camel and a jackal right very interesting story of a camel and a jackal right now supply the missing prepositions in it and copy it out under the title okay the camel and the jackal right you have to copy putting the title the camel and jackal right so uh, it's a very interesting story my dear student now okay you have to very first go through the skeleton given here right because of that you will understand its meaning then when you understand its meaning then you know its context right you know its context to use the missing preposition here okay well my dear student now look at very first paragraph okay you see the picture okay a camel and you see the picture of jackal okay jackal is okay jackal is uh, let's say sitting on the back of the camels right so that picture we can see okay look at the first paragraph okay a camel and a jackal live together that is a jungle on the other side that is the, the the river flowing that is the, that jungle there were fields of ripe sugar canes right one day the jackal came that the, the camel that is a plan that is across the river and enjoy the sugar canes as he did not know how to swim he requested the camel that the, carry him that the, his back so i hope my dear students you could easily guess the missing preposition that you are going to supply got it okay let's try the first one okay a camel and a jackal lived together together in a jungle correct answer in a jungle on the other side on the other side of the river flowing beside the jungle there were fields of ripe sugar canes move to the next paragraph one day the jackal came to the camel then with a plan then with a plan to cross the river and enjoy the sugar canes as he did not know how to swim he requested the camel to carry him on his back okay now let's go through another paragraph okay the camel agreed that the jackal's request agreed to okay the camel agreed to the jackal's request got it they set out that the, the river can you tell me its answer yes correct answer towards the river and soon reached its bank the camel carried the jackals the camel carried the jackal that his back and crossed the river the camel carried the jackals on his back right and crossed the and crossed the river that the reaching the reaching the other side they began to eat the sugar cane right so can you please tell me its preposition missing preposition of course correct after reaching the other side after reaching okay capitalize a it is given small a so you have to make this a capital after reaching the other side they began to eat the sugar canes they the jackal the jackal was soon satisfied but the camel was still hungry the jackal began to howl loudly the camel asked him not to do so but the jackal said that it was his habit to howl after meals right his howling attracted the attention the, the, the farmers of the farmers they all raised the spot that is a long stick with long sticks right then after the jackal disappeared disappeared into a bush right disappeared into a bush but the camel was badly beaten now they were to cross the river the jackal requested the camel to take him across the river okay now let's go further okay now please look at this paragraph go through this paragraph read out the question very fast okay and then after uh, i will be telling you answer 
right so please now look at here okay yes the camel agreed to do so but he wanted to retaliate retaliate upon or with him okay anyone you can write either upon or with him when the camel reached the middle middle of the water he began to roll roll in the water roll in the water the jackal told him not to do so but the camel said that it was his habit to do so after being beaten okay now go to, go through the last paragraph as a result the jackal slipped off the camel's back and fell into the deep water catching hold of the camel's tail the jackal was able to get to the next bank he was full of water inwards and outwards he learned a good lesson that one should never be wily and sly and begged to his friend the camel's apology okay the camel's apology moral as you show so shall you reap right so just uh, just like okay the tit for chat okay whatever you do okay such type of result you will get got it okay my dear student now you have to write down this entire story in your english note copy okay as i told you the or as you have seen the preposition in this blanks got it that's all for today thanks for watching and see you soon have a wonderful time ahead bye bye